Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Um, so today, uh, we're going to be going over equipment. We're going to be going over uh, basically weapons and uh, some other things like uh, apparel. Uh, this shouldn't be a very long part, kind of like the last one. We're going to make this one a little bit shorter. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, last time we went over drug production, we went over how to start your economy, so we went over different resources that you should be looking out for, uh, different animals, uh, so some animals that you should be looking out for are, uh, uh, chickens, that's a good animal to get if there's any traders nearby and they are selling chickens, that's a good animal to have for meat production, um, some others are cows if you want milk, uh, Pigs tend to be tend to be good, um, but they're not really as good as uh, as chickens. So, uh, yeah, those are some animals that you want to take a look out for. Uh, we went over so the agriculture, uh, some more agriculture that we need to be planting, like devil strand, cycloid plant, smoke leaf plant, and we're going to be mainly using these plants for uh, our economy. We're going to be selling these things, but we're also going to use devil strand for producing. Uh, more suitable attire. Uh, we also went over how to produce drugs and then sell those drugs. So those are a few of the things that we went over last time. This time we're going to be going over equipment. So the different e equipment that we're we're going to be uh, going over this time is uh, just different uh, pieces of apparel and also how to produce weapons. So uh, let's go over to production. Uh, the the next thing that you're going to want to make is uh, either a fuel smithy or an electric smithy. Electric smithy is just better because uh, we don't have enough power, but that's okay because we will um, we will just send some power up there. So we're going to go into power here, power conduit, and we're just going to extend this up to here. Okay. So we're going to have a, an electric smithy here, and what that's going to enable us to do is um, we're going to be able to uh, take... I can't even remember what this does. I just know you need it. What does the field smith, electric smithy do again? Oh, yeah. So this is what you use to make uh, like weapons such as uh, swords and stuff. So you're going to want this for your melee fighters. Uh, we will be making swords in this episode, so look out for that. Uh, yeah, and then the next thing is we're going to go over some apparel. So uh, I've had this hand tailoring bench for a long time, and it's long been overdue to be deconstructed, and actually we're going to want to put an electric tailoring bench. It just greatly increases the efficiency of tailoring. Uh, so we're going to want to start making things like um, jackets, dusters, parkas, uh, and so, uh, the, I think the, I think dusters are really good. So I, I don't know if, did I, I don't actually have any guys with, with dusters right now, but dusters are good. Another thing is, uh, always, you should always be crafting, uh, button down shirts over t-shirts because they provide better insulation and better, uh, coverage than just simply a t-shirt. And it's, you know, it's not much, but you you just rather do that. And I think they cost maybe a little bit of extra leather or whatever. But yeah, they're just they're just all around better. Um, so yeah, another thing that you're gonna want to start to look out for, uh, you're gonna want to start to make is shield belts. And we'll go over those. I think you might make shield belts either at the electric smithy or at. I don't know if you produce them here. No. Well, I guess we'll find out. You might produce them at the electric smithy, but more, more likely produce them at a machining table, which we are going to also produce. Um, we're going to need that as well. Where is production? Machining table. Let's put that right here. Uh, that'll connect to that power outlet. And we'll build some copies of this okay so we're gonna need a machining table uh we'll go over that um 
So yeah, we'll wait until they construct construct that, and then I'll go over some other stuff. So let's just unpause the game and see where it takes us. Maybe we will actually have some more combat. I will talk about uh, I will talk about uh, different weapons and stuff when we get into it. Uh, re weapons I would recommend. Weapons I would definitely not recommend. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll get into that. So one thing that we're going to want to check out while they're doing all this is we're going to want to look at uh, the bios of people. So I'm going to keep him on shooting. Um, I might actually take her off of melee and give her a shotgun. Uh, I'm going to put him onto melee. So they'll swat weapons most likely. Uh, because he's just better at shooting. And she's, like, she's pretty good at melee, but he's going to learn it pretty fast, so... Uh, yeah, sorry, she's not better at shooting, but I, I, I know he's going to learn melee faster, so I'm just going to put him on that. Gray, we're going to just keep on shooting. Uh, I'll probably keep her with the, the bolt action rifle. Uh, Rad, we're going to keep the same. Uh, what are we missing here? Components. Do we have enough? We do not have enough components. All right. We need to mine some more. So yeah, just just find compact machinery and mine it out for components if you need it. Which I'm getting to a stage where components will become very very valuable. Uh, so is that all the components I can find? I guess it is right now. Okay. Might have to do some strip mining. Oh, there's some there. Actually, there's quite a bit here. All right, we'll see where, what that gets us. Okay, so this electric smithy is done. We can actually start to make um, the um, what am I what am I trying to say? The 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 melee weapon that I would um, suggest the most, which is long swords. Long swords are great. Uh, they just they have I think the most DPS. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know that they're just better than anything. So we're gonna look and see who we want to be a melee fighter. I think we're gonna keep Arvid on that. Uh, who else should be Arvid and uh, what is her name? Biarlazotro, I guess. <laughs> uh, Blairazotro. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to make two long swords, and we're going to click on details here because we want to make it out of very, of a very specific material. I have six 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 plasteel. That's scary. We're going to want to make it out of plasteel because plasteel is just really good. Uh, it's better than uh, steel and other things. It's it's more expensive, but uh, it's it's not too bad. So I would say I would highly suggest you make them out of plasteel. We're gonna make two long swords. We're gonna get them on that. Okay, so those are gonna be my melee fighters. We're also gonna want to craft shield belts for them, which you don't do here, I guess. I can't remember where you make shield belts, but we're gonna get into that. Uh, I need them to mine. Inspired surgery. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, she named a dog something after being nuzzled. That's nice. There's no bond, though. When, when, when you have animals that are bonded to people, it's a good idea to make the master their bond. Uh, otherwise, they're, they're sad. It makes your people sad about it. Uh, oh, what do we need here? Um, man, I, I, I have... Uh, <laughs> I have researched so much that I don't even know what to research anymore because a lot of the stuff I don't even use. I guess plate armor. Let's do that. Get them on mining that. Oh, and the machining table is done. 
So you can make a lot of things with machining tables. Can you make shield belts with them? Yes, you can. So shield belts are really good. We're going to start to make those. Um, yeah, let's make that. Let's make that first. Um, we're going to need a lot of stuff because we're, we're going to start to really armor our guys up. So you want shield belts for your melee fighters because uh, I don't know what it we might have to you know let's click that uh, so a, a projectile repulsion device it will always attempt to stop incoming projectiles or shrapnel but does not uh, but does nothing against melee attacks or heat it prevents the wearer from uh, firing out and shuts down instantly if hit by an EMP so you're you don't want to equip your soldiers with this the guys carrying the guns because they're not going to make any use of this if they're not able to fire. So that's why you give it to your melee fighters. Uh, your melee fighters also... Um, your melee fighters will also... Uh, you know, when they're, when they're rushing into battle and people are shooting at them, they won't be able to take... They won't take any damage. So it's a really good thing to build. Uh, you used to require uranium to build them. What do you need now? You just need steel and plasteel. Uh, back in the day, shield belts were really expensive. They required uranium, and luckily they don't anymore. <laughs> but they do require two components. So components are going to become very, uh, very important soon. Okay, uh, so we're going to want to make that. We're also going to want to make uh, like armor vests, uh, marine armor, stuff like that. I don't know if you make that at a machining table. Um... Let's see. Make simple helmet. I'm just seeing if you, where you'd make higher tier armor. Do you make it at a tailoring bench? Oh, by the way, my tailoring benches are done, so we can actually produce electric tailoring benches, especially now that we have the power for it. Um, so yeah, tailor. You might have to tailor those. I guess we'll find out. Um, I think power armor. Uh, we we won't need right now because power armor is really expensive, and you get it through trade. So we're not going to get into that right now. We'll get that in when we talk about like the late game. Uh, but yeah, right now we're going to want to make for our soldiers the armor they need to be wearing is kind of like what this guy's wearing, uh, which is. Uh, flak helmets are okay, but you want, like, armor vests and advanced helmets. Um, and you can always have, like, flak helmets and simple helmets. I think she's got a simple helmet. Not flak. Um, just for, just for like, because it's better than nothing, but you, you really want to be looking for, like, advanced helmets and stuff. Um, but they, they, they definitely cost a lot. Maybe we'll just make short. Uh, well, we maybe we'll just make those simple helmets actually. So this electric smithy. Uh, make simple helmet. Uh, how many do we need? We need one for you. We'll give one to you. Not for you. Give one to Gray. He's already got one though. Rad's got one. I guess I'll make one for Komodo. Yeah. Make simple helmet. Make it out of... Sure, make it out of steel. Don't need it out of plasteel. Okay. Uh, we also need armored vests. But, again, I don't know... Might be tailoring benches that you make that with. Mad Buck. All right, we'll send the we'll send the army out to deal with that. Uh, I found a light machine gun, <laughs> and so I've got a light machine gun on on him. Uh oh, my pig, piggy. Okay, I need to. I actually want my animals to. 
go into a state of emergency right now, just because of this buck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. I don't think he's actually hurting the animals, which is pretty funny. So we're just going to gun this guy down here. All right, he's dead. So that was kind of a demonstration of the uh, light machine gun, what it can do. Uh, we'll get into more of that when I actually explain it. All right, so they're going to be producing this stuff. Again, we need more wood. I don't know. Might need to... Uh, I think we're fine. Oh, uh, before anything, I always forget to do this. Set your animals back to pasture or whatever. So all these guys are unrestricted. All these guys are set to pasture. Okay. I'm finished longsword. I'm finished sealed belt. I feel like there's two rim, two types of RimWorld players. People that play it slow and like on one or two speed, and people like me that play it really fast but pause a lot. <laughs> Thanks to high mood, he will work faster. Nice. Move faster or whatever. Is it a go frenzy? Yeah. Okay, so we have a long sword now, I think. Oh, simple helmet is done. Uh, where? Where, oh, where was that simple helmet? I'll mine that plastic out too. Where did they put it? I don't know. But that kind of leads me into apparel management. So I have all these guys assigned to something called Not Winter. So I don't know if I went over this or not, but you're going to want to make a... I think I already went over it, but you're going to want to make a thing where they can only wear really warm clothes when you have it set to winter. And so there we go. But we're going to actually set thing. We're going to create a new outfit. And we're going to call this um, shooter. We're going to allow, allow them to wear everything except for parkas. Uh we're only going to allow them to wear tribal dukes or mask. Is it simple helmets? They should have a helmet. Am I blind? Oh, it's probably under armor. Uh, so no headgear only. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just clear all. And they're only allowed to wear maybe all headgear? No. No, 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 no. Marine armor, plate armor, shield belts. No. Okay, we'll say that. We'll say that. Raccoon armor? Or <laughs> recon armor. I'm retarded. Uh, flak vest, flak pants, flak jacket. Uh, button down shirt. Because I think you can put it over that. Now, uh, I don't know where helmets are. Oh, where is it? You should have something that says... Okay, pants, yes. Um, I don't know. I, I can't find... I can't seem to find... Unless it's, like, included in this. Maybe headgear. It's probably headgear. Okay. We'll just... We'll say that shooter. And we're going to assign that to Shay. We're going to assign that to Gray. 
and Komodo. These are going to be my, my main shooters. Okay. So if I set that up right, hopefully it'll work. Okay, now I'm going to need another outfit, new outfit. We're going to call this um, Melee. Melee or whatever, however you pronounce it. And you're allowed to wear no, no to headgear. We'll clear all and we'll allow you to wear shield belts. And button down shirts, pants. That should be it. And we're going to put um, Arvid on melee. And we're going to put you on melee. All right, now they should go and fix themselves if I set this up correctly. So hopefully I did. Uh, I'm just trying to find where that, that helmet went. Oh, I think it's right here. Okay. So you should... Okay, so this guy should have the gear that I wanted. Pants, button-down shirt, yeah. And we're going to make vests and stuff later. Rad, though, you shouldn't have this anymore. Oh, you know why? Because I have not winter is assigned they can wear armor. So I don't want them to wear any of this anymore. No armor. Um, they can wear... They can wear that. They can wear pants, dusters, button-down shirts. They can't wear... They can wear this kind of headgear, I guess. Mask, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that should fix that now. I also need to edit winter and do the exact same thing. Oh, I already have... Oh, yeah. I changed it to that. Okay. So now, Brad, once she wakes up, should realize, hey, I'm not supposed to be wearing this helmet, and go change. Because Gray needs to wear that helmet. So if we look, Gray should be assigned a shooter. Yeah. Okay. So Komodo's going to go Oh, he's doing something else. Uh, need them to work on this, but they're fixing traps, which I also need them to do, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> There's so much work to be done around here all the time. No one's ever idle, which is good. Uh, number one rule of efficiency in this game is don't have anyone idle, ever. Okay, so you might have actually equipped that now. Yeah, she has a shield belt on. Because I said she should wear that. She's going to make another one. And then we're going to make other things, like... Probably light machine guns, because those are pretty sick. Plate armor is done. Okay. Okay. Maybe I needed to research plate armor. <laughs> oh, flak armor. Oh my gosh. Wow, I did not... This is what my problem is. I didn't research this. Sitting here researching everything else but the stuff I need. Great. That was really dumb. Okay. So, she's still making these long swords. Which she just finished. So, it's a normal plasteel long sword. Now, Arvid, I'm actually going to get you to equip that once you're done. Harvesting corn. So 
So now he has a that thing. Oh, but I think oh, I need I need another longsword because I am going to keep I'm going to keep Archer as a melee fighter. Yeah, no, I won't. I'm just going to have her with a knife. Whatever. Because she's not... I'll just keep her with a knife. Because I forgot she's a brawler, so she doesn't like... Yeah. Uh, so now it says Hunter lacks wa ra ranged, ranged weapon. So I'm going to take... Uh, Arvid off of hunting. No more hunting for him. Because he can't do it anyway. But now, once he gets a shield belt, that'll be awesome. So, again, you always want to send your melee fighters after uh oh he just equipped one awesome so this must have finished yes okay you're always going to want to send your melee fighters after ranged fighters and vice versa you want to send your range fa fighters after melee fighters okay so yeah i was i think i have my apparel management worked out now uh, next, we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna get into actual weapons now. Okay, there's there's a lot of here. I'll just I'll say make shield belt just so I have it queued in case I get another melee fighter. Okay, so there's a lot of weapons you can get. Uh, I would suggest not equipping sidearms. So. This is going to take a while to explain. Don't equip anything like machine pistols, stuff like that. I just, I don't like sidearms. It's not like you equip a side. If, if this game enables you to equip a sidearm and a, and a uh, primary weapon, that would be awesome. And like, they could really integrate that really easily in, in an update. Oh, this would be a really good idea. Just in my opinion. If you had a primary and a sidearm, what you could do is... You could have them use their primary, and then once that cooldown is uh, is while that cooldown is going down, you can have them use their sidearm and then switch back to their primary. I think that would be a really cool idea, but alas, that's not in the game. So don't equip revolvers, machine pistols, stuff like that. Okay, I'll go over each gun that you can make uh, individually. One gun is the one that you come with, which is the bolt action rifle, which. Uh, you know, Shea has one right now. Both action rifles are actually surprisingly good. Um, they're good in, in, you know, especially in the mid game. Uh, and so they're, they're the, probably, I would say, the best long range weapon in the game. Uh, besides like, like that you can equip. So yeah, they have really good damage per second. Uh, they're really good for shooters who are like, who have really high shooting skills. So I would say like 10 and up. If they have a shooting level of 10 and higher, I would give it to them. So like Shay or Gray or uh, or uh, Komodo, like or not Komodo because he's at level nine, but you know I, I would give it to Shay and Gray for sure. I'd give them uh, bolt action rifles. Other than bolt action rifles, uh, there's uh, sniper rifles, which is another long range weapon, and you get an even longer range on them, I'm pretty sure. But I would say sniper rifles are really underpowered in this game. Uh, sniper rifles are pretty niche. Uh, you you would only need them if you like in very very specific situations. So I would suggest not uh, crafting sniper rifles. I never use them. Um, because they have pretty bad, you know, damage per second, and they require eight components and 60 steel. That's pretty expensive. Whereas a bolt action rifle, um, if we take, oh, sorry. Whereas if we look at a bolt action rifle, uh, you can see that it costs 60 steel and three components, way cheaper, and I would say way more reliable. So bolt action rifles are always better than sniper rifles 
Uh, a good a good weapon to give for you know soldiers like soldiers that are very well trained is uh, uh, is assault rifles. Uh, these are pretty good. They're quite expensive though. So you get like an M16, uh, and you get that through 60 steel and, and seven components. It's quite expensive, but you know it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, it's it, they're they're pretty nice. I'm probably not going to be using them. Uh, but they're good for like, if you're going to actually invade somewhere, they're they're really good uh, offensive weapons. So, I I would recommend them. Okay, now the gun that I would probably recommend the most is the light machine gun, and a lot of people might disagree with me on that, but I think this is great. 75 steel, five components. That's not that expensive. Uh, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not that expensive. And light machine guns can really gun down targets at medium range. And they also don't require a high level of skill from your shooters because they're already pretty inaccurate. Uh, so they're, they're quite inaccurate, but you get a, lo a long burst from them. And in the specific setup that we have, uh, we created a very medium to short range scenario. So it's good to have like one guy with a bolt action rifle uh, just in case, you know, they're hiding here and you want to snipe them. But I would say that, you know, you're going to want medium to short range weapons. That's why I always equip a lot of pump action shotguns, which I'll get into, and light machine guns. Uh, light machine guns also take a long time to cool down. So you got to keep that. Eh, you have to think about that. But I think that they're they're very, very good guns. Um Okay, so now I can get into, I, I guess I'll talk about, um, you know, heavy SMGs uh, and and pump action shotguns. Uh, I, I actually like both of these, heavy SMGs and pump action, uh, but I like them for a very specific uh, type of uh, character that you have, uh, where is a... Where's a where's a pump action or yeah okay pump action, so they're pretty cheap. 60 seal, three components, easy. Give that every single person should be armed, and I give everyone pump action shotguns. That uh, that is not a soldier. So rad weasel, rad and weasel, they have pump action shotguns. Uh, but another thing that you might want to give them that's really good is uh, heavy SMGs, which I actually have one on me right here. Heavy SMGs are great. I might even actually equip one of these guys with a heavy SMG. I'll take a look. Uh, I'll have a look and see in a minute. But uh, how much do those cost, heavy SMGs? Uh, right here. Uh, 75 steel, 4 components. Really cheap. 75 steel, 4 components. That's it. Um, yeah. So I, I, might, I might equip one, one of them with that. Uh, because, yeah, they're 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 best for like just self defense. They're not they're not great guns, but but they uh, they don't require like a lot of shooting skill. Uh, so so they're quite good. Uh, another weapon that I would really not suggest is uh, chain shotguns. Which I gotta find somewhere. Chain shotguns. So this is like a I don't know, maybe like an AA-12 or something. Uh, in this game, they they kind of suck. Uh, <laughs> so they they have like they have really high damage output. Okay, so they're they're deadly. They they they're deadly against like uh sh like at short range. But the the problem is they 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 do have such short range. So you have to wait until they're right up in your face. And by that point, you're probably... If they're right up in your face, you're probably dealing with a melee fighter. Which, you know, in the time it takes you to aim, right, and you can only start aiming when they get really close to you. In the time it takes you to aim at them, they're probably already slashing your head open. So chain shotguns are pretty sucky. Uh, and the, on, the time that I would probably recommend them is if as like a support weapon, I guess. So if you had like a melee fighter attacking, you know, a ranged fighter, and then you had your chain shotgun guys like a support, that'd be a really deadly support to have. So 
that'd be good. But other than that, it's not. I don't really recommend them. Um, I would just recommend this gun as just like a fun gun, um, and that's the minigun. Uh, yeah. So I would say, you know, <laughs> and they're very expensive. 160 steel, 20 components. Maybe I'll make one of these just as like, just for fun. These are like, just, you know, these are great for like crowd control. If you have like a group of enemies and they're really good if you have uh, people with, I don't know if I have anybody. Trigger happy. Trigger happy colonists are really good to have uh, miniguns with because uh, what trigger happy does is it uh, there's no more aiming time, but you get like and, and not a lot of like shooting accuracy, but that doesn't really matter with a minigun. <laughs> so like, but you, you're, you're going to shoot that thing so much faster. It's going to be awesome. So miniguns are great. Uh, yeah. So again, we kind of went over long swords. Uh, yeah. Next, I probably will go over like prosthetics and stuff, but I won't go over it right now. Right now, let's just uh, finish up. Uh, let's actually look at what we have. So I think I'm going to keep gray. He's got a, what kind of bolt action rifle does this guy have? Uh, he's got a normal bolt action. She's got a normal bolt action. Okay, so I'll, I'll probably keep that the same. Do I have any, like, good quality bolt action rifles? Poor. Normal. Okay, then I'll just keep gray with that uh, that bolt action rifle. Uh, Shay, on the other hand, though, I kind of would like to give him a light machine gun. I think that would be pretty sick, so... Let's equip. Let's make a light machine gun. For for Shay, what what will this cost? Five components, not too bad, but we are going to be running low on components, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. We're probably going to have to buy some when a trader comes. Uh, so this next part of the game might get a little slow. I might, you know, cut and and get to a point. I it'll depend on what. I want to actually talk about next time, which next time I think we're going to go into mortars. So if we go into security, how, what do mortars cost? Six components. Okay, that, that's expensive. Turrets cost a lot of money, too. We're probably just going to use mini turrets later on. Um, yeah. I'll probably talk I'll probably get into that later, but uh, I might I might like farm for components in between episodes. We'll see. Okay, I said I was also going to look into um, the using heavy submachine guns. I, I just want to check on check over here what the what the damage output and everything is. You kind of have to look it up if you really want to get into what each gun does. It's pretty interesting to actually look at it. Um, good for careful shooter up to level 13. It says here. Sorry. And a pump shotgun. Just seeing what a uh, pump shotgun is good for. On here again. Level three out oh, to level six. Okay. What uh, what levels are are these guys at? Weasel. Level five. Okay, rad. Level six. Okay. You know what? Uh, with rad, we're actually gonna equip this. Rad's gonna take on the. Uh, heavy sub submachine gun for us and uh weasel will just keep with the pump shotgun uh if more ha i probably won't craft them uh just because i'm watching my component intake <laughs> uh at the moment so but I'll, I'll give i'll give rad a heavy submachine gun just to kind of show it off we'll have a variety of weapons 
So we'll make a light machine gun for you. You, you know what? I don't like that you just have a knife, but you know what? I don't want to waste the plasteel on you. <laughs> so I'll just, I'll just keep you. You'll be the backup melee person. Uh, Arvid, we'll keep you with the long sword. You're good. We'll keep you the way you are. You're good. Uh, pump shotguns. You're good for now. Or no, you're equipping that. Yeah. Weasel. We'll keep you with the pump. You and you're going to actually equip a long sword once it's done. Okay. So let's play. Uh, and uh, I'll, we'll just see what happens as we go. Um, shoot Frenzy for Shay. Okay, cool. That's ironic. Or that's appropriate, I guess, for what we're talking about. So Rad now has a heavy submachine gun. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, so with all the guns that you can make, you know, you... You're going to be asking, like, which one should I make? Those are kind of my recommendations. But feel free to mess around with stuff. Uh, yeah, don't take my word for anything. You know, just have fun, of course. Oh, we have a raid. Oh, and they want to tunnel through my defenses. Usually that's not a good sign, and we might see a death. <laughs> I'm going to yeah save uh, if someone dies right now I'll just let them die and then we can experience <laughs> our characters dying I guess okay let's see we have a guy with frag grenades he's probably going to try and blow through something uh, we need our animals first things first to do this. Everybody go into the barn. Okay. Got this guy. Tony. We got Taffy. Tony and Taffy. Pinky and Scarlet and Amy. <laughs> I guess. Are going to come and uh, wreck us. So. What do they got? We got revolver. We got a lot of sidearms. This guy's got a pump shotgun. They don't look too threatening, but uh, famous last words, right? So they want to tunnel through our defenses. So I'm not sure where they're going to go. My guess would be maybe they're going to try and blow through the hospital. But I don't know 100%. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Shay to come right here. I'm going to get Archer to come right there. Arvid, I want you to come here. Archer, I have you set to that. And then I want you to uh, come here. Uh, Gray, where are you? You're right there. I want you to come Stand right there. Rad. Come on over. Come on down. You're the next contestant. Uh, you come here. Komodo. I want you to come. Ooh, you're kind of in a bad spot, aren't you? Maybe I could get him. Oh, Komodo, you're not in a good spot, man. I'm thinking I either flee and go through the back door or I get him to come really quickly through here. I'm going to try and do this. This is kind of risky, but that's what we'll do. <laughs> okay. He's the number one person I'm worried about there. Okay, you come with your club. Come right here. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh gosh. That piggy. 
At least that picky's like a good distraction. Come on over. Let's see what they try to do. I'm kind of curious what they might do. Okay. They want to come around. So what we're going to actually do, because I think they're going to try and blast a hole in our wall. So I'm actually going to get these guys to come. Oh, come on. I want to select all of you. I want you guys to come in here. And we'll get you guys to get in here too. Oh. Because I think they're like, oh, that's wood wall. That's not as... Oh, are they just going after my dog? Or wh where is he going? Okay, my laboratory retriever died. Animals. He wasn't bonded to anybody. Guys killed my Labrador Retriever. How could you? Okay, here. Okay, this is where he's attacking. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let him come in. Let him come in. Feel the carnage. I've got a feeling that... Uh, well, I guess we'll see what happens here. Okay. Okay, you. I want you to attack. I also want... Now that we have our shield belt here. Oh, did these guys die? <laughs> nice. How long did you die? Dead for less than... Yeah, they, they died just now. Trying to get in through the traps. Okay, you. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. You, I also want you to go after him. Yeah, come in, come in. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, all you guys, engage. Okay, engage, engage. Okay, now you two, go after him. And then... Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, this was good. This was good. I, I like this. How how is everybody? How is Archer? How are you health wise? You're okay. Oh man, you got shot. Okay. You're okay though. You you took that gunshot pretty well, like <laughs> dang. Okay, how is Weasel here? Okay, Weasel, I actually want you to retreat. Because you're kind of hurting. Where's my doctor? Who's who's my doctor? Who's my best doctor? I can't remember. It's been so long. 10, 11. You know, Archer's probably... Actually, well, yeah. Let's, let's get Archer to tend. Okay, actually, I want you to come into here. Okay. Okay, how are you... You're okay. Okay. So the rest of you guys. I want you to go. After them. Um, let's get. You to go after. Him. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, keep going, keep going. He's going to catch up. Okay. I just want you to fire. You two. There's no way you guys are going to catch up. But. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man, that felt good. Oh. Oh man, we wrecked them. We absolutely destroyed these guys. Okay, Archer. What? 
Oh, this guy, this guy was left. Are there still people left? Not that I can tell. Okay. Uh, smoke launcher. I'll take it. I'll take this stuff to sell. You want to you want to take some weapons to sell. Don't take clubs and stuff because it's not really that good. It's like a 1911, I think. Okay. What is this? What are you? Are you worth anything? No. I don't like you. Ah, oh, who shall perform the mercy shot? Where's Gray? Gray, why don't you go over and finish him off? <clears throat> All right, yeah, you tend, tend to him. He really needs it. Okay. All right, Gray. Oh, all the animals, by the way. You're all free to go. You guys can do this. It sucked that one of my dogs died, and my boars might die. They're kind of... No, that one's okay. What about the other one? Oh, that is that one. Oh, and there was another one that was hurt. Animals, wild boar. Oh, they're okay. They're okay. Okay. Um, good job. All right, let's build some graves. How many bodies do we have? We have one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, he's got some silver. Pump shotgun. I'll take that. This guy. Nice. Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six graves. Okay. Six. Six graves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's pretty morbid. Let's add to our collection. <laughs> All right, now we have we have our hospital running, so these guys are going to be fine. Right middle finger was destroyed. Oh, that sucks. So that actually is going to be with her forever. So she lost her finger in combat. About you. Was were you the one? No. Who was it? Yeah, you. You lost your right middle finger in combat. Taffy. That Taffy. What does it say? Taffy bashed uh B R La Zort Zotro in the right middle finger. She can't flip people off with her right hand anymore, man. Boar 7, fully healed. Nice. So, yeah. This is good. We, uh... We didn't even... There wasn't even one left. Well, so, he must have shot him in the head. Yeah. Brain destroyed. Yeah. One shot. Just, boom. Through the brain. That was sick. I did not expect that to happen. I, like, you guys have seen combat in this game. It's not very, uh... <laughs> It's not very, uh, you know, shooting isn't very good, but these guys have come a long way. Like, just one shot at that guy. It's pretty great. One shot, one kill. So they're just going to spend some time in the hospital and recover. Archer's still taking care of him, <laughs> even though she's recovering. Still can't over the fact that she's a misogynist, but she's a woman. <laughs> it's weird. Just really don't like women, even though you are one. Do you like yourself then, or are you the exception? I don't know. 
Maybe she's just jealous of other women. I don't know what it is. Which kind of suits the fact that Shay divorced her and then married another woman, so... You know. Yeah, give me my flak armor, man. I also need to... I think I need to actually set more trees to be cut down. Uh, let's just select a wide range here. There, go, go cut those down. Oh good, they already boarded this up. Nice. May as well take these as well. Could sell them off. Oh, I, I don't know if I... You're probably wondering where I got this game of Ur. It's, uh... I got it from a trader. That's the only way you can get it. It's not, like, great or anything, so don't worry if you can't find it. I'm surprised this episode has taken this long. Almost up to an hour here. I was expecting this to be like half an hour or so. Biarlazotro. <laughs> Fully healed. <laughs> She's a weaver. How do you play poker by yourself? Is there any like solitaire poker games? But like, what would you bid against? Who would win? It's not really poker. She's probably playing another card game. Probably Solitaire. Any of you guys see that uh, 51 Worldwide Classics that Nintendo announced and uh, was released now? I bought it. It's uh, it's pretty great, actually. It's not, like, amazing or anything, but it's pretty great. I guess one thing that I'm kind of bummed about is, you know, just that so many, like... I, like, the guest pass is really cool and everything, but you uh, you have to have... Each person has to have their own system to use it, and you can not you can only have, like, one person on each system at a time if you're using the guest pass. So that was kind of dumb. Uh, I didn't really like that, but... It kind of inspired me to go get a Pro Controller. I want to buy a Pro Controller and two more Joy-Cons for the Switch, because... I have, I have the Joy-Cons, or I, I, I just, I only have two Joy-Cons, so. Oh no, this is not good. Oh no, that's really not good. So we gotta, if you guys remember this, um, we gotta go defeat this ship. This is where some long range guys actually come in handy, because you can't hide behind your defenses in this case. You actually have to go out and do some offensive warfare. And these things are deadly, if you don't remember. Pikemen and especially these, the Scyther. Ooh. They're like bug steel type Pokemon. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Uh, I think there was a, a, like literally, I think a ship landed in this exact same spot while I was off camera one time before too. Okay, sh we're going to want to be real careful where we put people. I think I'm going to have Archer as kind of a backup. Uh... You know, Archer could maybe stay here and be a uh, be a backup, be a doc. You know what, Archer? I'm going to have you stand here. I'm going to have Archer be the doctor, rushing people. You know what, then? She should come out here and, like, rush people back if, they, if they're if they downed. That's a good, that's a good plan. Arvid, I'm just going to have you come right here, I guess. Uh, gray. Hmm. I don't want to have these things too spread out. So I want to keep everybody kind of together. I guess you can sit there. Kind of be a backup for Arvid. You too. You I want, like, here. And you can be right there, I guess. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'll save just in case. Like, 
the reason I'm safe scumming a little bit here is because it's a guide that I'm making. If I was to do a playthrough, I would I would do it on permadeath. So don't get all mad, please. So I'll wait till these guys get here. So can't we can't initiate with you. You could initiate. You, yeah. One thing that's really nice about the heavy SMG is it's uh, it's very uh, it's got a nice range on it actually. It's a pretty nice range. So I'm just gonna wait till everybody gets here. I guess we can put our animals on emergency. Man, I swear I've been getting so many things like so frequently. You can actually check how many raids we've had. If we go into history and we go into statistics. <laughs> Damage taken. We've had 37 raids and 56 major threats. So, it's quite a lot. Nothing like Randy Random, but... <laughs> it's nothing to, like, shake a stick at. Okay. You are going to... Engage. You going to engage the exact same target. You're gonna stay put. You're gonna engage the same target. And we'll see what happens. Missed every shot. Oh, I didn't realize you're a Lancer. And that has a very nice range on it. I might get these guys to flank. Mm, what do we want to do here? Because they're all awake now. These all have such an good ranges like that's what sucks about this compared to my crap like ooh guess I could get you to focus on him and I could get you to focus on him as well you want to put him behind this stuff if I didn't make that clear and I guess I could get these three To engage. Okay, I want you to actually focus on him. Uh, engage him. You engage him. You engage him. You three engage him. You run. Where'd that other one go? Okay, I do need you to actually engage him then. Sorry, I'm really thinking this through because... Kite him, kite him, kite him. Okay, he's dead. He... Okay, good. My piggy is attacking him. You... Go help him out. Actually, you go help her out. She probably needs it more. Ah... Uh, yeah, you keep attacking. So I think these guys have been stunning him, which is good. I need you guys to move in. Okay. We're we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Okay, you gauge him. 
you gauge him as well. You guys okay, I need you to go up a little bit further. You can engage him. You go over here. Engage. Okay, Arvid, I need you to go there. Wow, great job, guys. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was really quiet during that because um, I just... <laughs> I needed I needed to be. <laughs> okay, so how is everyone's health? You're okay. <laughs> oh, you rad, you big screw up. Right little toe is actually destroyed. Oh my gosh, how'd that happen? The pikeman did that. Man, you've just been through hell. <laughs> Arvid, <laughs> Arvid's got his right lung gone. He's got his eyes scratched. He's got He's got his toe now destroyed. Oh man, Arvid's just been through all sorts of crap. Uh, who else is hurt? You are hurt. You got, you're okay though. So like nobody's in any like real danger of dying right now, so that's good. But I will send, I'll send you guys back. Whereas the rest of you I will send here. That should all be within your range. And we'll just watch them destroy this. It's actually being destroyed really quick. Alright, this is awesome, man. I've got a pretty confident militia. Nice, when we get an advanced component, a component, plasteel, and steel, man. That's, that's pretty awesome. And I don't really care about the bodies. So they can just stay there. Alright. Colonist needs treatment. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet you guys do. <laughs> Ar Archer's like... Mm. Archer's been in the hospital. These guys have been in the hospital so much. <laughs> nice. Oh, all my animals need to come out. And this is what happens when... Like, as you get more colonists, the game tries to kill you more. <laughs> they, they want you to... to die. <laughs> so, good thing my dogs, I trained them to haul, so... My colonists can focus on other things, so... That's why it's so good to have hauling animals like, like we do. Um, I need to train my boars actually to attack my my fresh boars, so we can have a whole animal army. Okay. Ah, my new electric tailoring bench. So is this where you can make? No, I think I think I still need to research it, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but we got other things we need to make too. Uh, is this in the process of being made? Okay, good. That's good. So we had enough components. That's good. Okay. That fire really spread, but it's okay. If you if you're ever scared of your fire of a fire spreading, uh, black armor. Okay. Uh, what what can we research next? Let's do smoke pot belts. That's good. 
Uh, if you're ever worried about a a fire, all, all, and you're like worried about it spreading, just make the fire part of your home zone, and then clear it out, and your colonists will go deal with it. So, just a heads up. Okay. So now I need maybe it's this electric smithy. Yes, we can make plate armor. You just need 170 ingredients. So you, that that's usually like just like crap that you can find like steel or whatever. Let's just make steel. Let's just make it out of steel. Not wood. Uh, so yeah, if we made it out of plasteel, it'd probably be stronger, but I just, I don't care right now. So we're going to make some plate armor. Maybe after the plate armor, I'll be, uh, I'll just be finished. I think this is actually generating light, this uh, electric smelter. So what you can do with the smelter is you can smelt metal from slag. Uh, you can also smelt weapons and stuff. Destroy apparel. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. It's not very useful, but it's good to have. Uh, is there any weapons I didn't really go over? I guess there's lots. Oh yeah, we have to go over prosthetics too. Okay, it's good that it's raining. So that will clear that up. Oh uh, yeah, we have to go over prosthetics. Which was it this that we make prosthetics with? No, it was the machining table. Okay. I'll go over prosthetics quick. So shred mechanoid. Ingredients corpse. Shred a dead mechanoid to try and salvage usable metal material. Oh, do that. Please do that. I forgot you could do... That's where you do it at. You don't... I was always like, oh, do you do it at a butcher table? No, you don't do it at a butcher table. You do it here. I never knew that. I just learned that. That's good. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Shred mechanoid. Uh, yeah, do this forever. After you do the light machine gun. And then we can have all these mechanoid corpses that we've been collecting can actually be put to use. I did not know you could do that. That's awesome. So it should say that it's a mechanoid or something. Body of a pikeman. Anyway, these are these are mechanoids, I'm pretty pretty sure. I'm fairly sure of that, so that's what it's talking about. Uh, yeah, so I guess I can go over prosthetics. Uh, so if, if your colonists uh, end up, you know, losing a leg or a thing or an arm or something, what you can do is you can actually replace it with different prosthetics. Uh, now prosthetics only work at a, a certain amount of efficiency. So as you see here, like a prosthetic leg. Uh, yeah, it only has 85% efficiency, but it's better than, like, zero. So, and then you can install, you install the prosthetic leg. And then cost ingredients, two medicine, one prosthetic leg to install it. And that's how you, like, get it on the person. Uh, <laughs> another thing that actually works at uh, more than, I think it's even more than 100% efficiency. Wait, let me just see here is bionics uh, and they work have like 125 percent efficiency and how you make those i've researched them so you should be able to make them i think you i, th I don't think you well i'll have to see what you can make them at here if we go over to bionics should be like somewhere 
farther on the along the chain here. It would be after prosthetics because I had to. Re I did. Ha I can't remember where all that is. Prosthetics. Probably a lot of you. Uh, prosthetics is here. Maybe you can't. So that's how you make prosthetics. You have to research that first. But maybe you actually, I think, maybe the only way you can actually get bionics is through, uh, is through actually buying them. Yeah, I think you can only make, you can't actually make bionics. You have to buy them from traders. So that's that. Uh, last thing I guess I'll go over with regards to this is you can actually harvest people's organs <laughs> in this game. Yeah, so what you do is you, and it'll actually affect your colonist move, mood unless they're a psychopath. So psychopath colonists are really good to have for that. I don't know if I have one. Maybe cannibals won't. Cannibals might not be affected by it, but I actually think they are because you're killing a person or a cannibal kind of eats them because they just happen to be dead. I think a psychopath, they, they, they can't, they're not affected by a lot of stuff. And so they're good to, to have as organ harvesters. So you take a prisoner and you, you literally like set up a hospital bed and you can harvest organs. I've never done it before. Um, so yeah. So I think, I think that's all you have to do. You might, it might be on like when you have the prisoner already and then you say harvest organs i don't think it's on the butcher table i think it's just like in it or it's in the hospital but um, i guess it would be in the in the actual prisoner tab to select harvest this person's organs but i've never done it before so but there's a first for everything <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, now that we... I don't know, I didn't actually set this up. So, we can make flak vests. Actually, she's making plate armor. We'll just... Maybe we'll just have plate armor for now. Um... Actually, stop making plate armor. Just make the long sword. Uh, I actually don't want you to make the plate armor. Cancel that. Make me instead. Make me some flak vests. One component. Oh man. Make me three. I have nine components. Make me three. Flak vests. Make three of them. Fish mech making that LMG for me, girl. I want you to have one. Why is, why is she cleaning and stuff? Why isn't she... Why aren't she working on that? Okay, she's working on it now. I don't know why she was cleaning. Weird. Okay. Man, I want to look up prices for, uh... Oh, I need a research project. Prices for a pro controller now. I might get that, like, GameCube one. I don't know if, like, they still make those anymore, but... Moisture pumps, we don't need that. Moisture pumps are important if you're in a, uh... In a, like, a... If you're in a biome where you don't have any fertile soil. Um, these are extremely important if you're trying to do, like, an extreme biome. Like, uh... Like the ice sheet or whatever. I have yet to try that. 
Hydroponics, that's also important if you're doing that. We don't have a river, so we can't... We can't even use that. IEDs. <laughs> that's cool. I don't think I've ever used like roadside bombs before. Maybe we will. Maybe it'll be a fun learning thing for everyone. Oh, what time is it? It's 9.47. My gosh, my girlfriend is sending me these videos and she's like a crackhead, I swear. What the heck? <laughs> this is taking forever to watch these. <laughs> Just I'll have them playing here while I <laughs> while I do this. Okay. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see that, dude. I didn't even see that. My goodness. Alright, this, this rag is toast, man. You're gonna kill my muffalo, you piece of crap. Or my... Oh, you're dead. you enjoyed your last meal. You know, don't don't accidentally shoot the muffalo. Was he even trained while Boar 7? I can't really check now. Well, that happened. Where'd he go? Where'd the... Where did the rag go, man? Oh, he's right there. Here, Shay. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Look at this little... This little... Bee. Hope you enjoyed your last meal, buddy. Now you're, now you're hurting that poor squirrel. Dude, this guy... This guy's gotta go. Oh, yeah, rag revenge. Good luck. Okay, you know what? All right, that's right. Both of you put an end to his sorry, pathetic life. Gray, you can leave. Okay. That was actually kind of close. <laughs> I'm s that made me mad, man. Freaking ate my rag. Or ate my boar. Okay. Building some of that. <laughs> Did we... Yeah, we still have trees to cut down. Okay, good. Oh, the hard thing... <laughs> it's hard to commentate over this game because it's just like nothing's going on for a while. Even though a lot of stuff is happening, it's like nothing new is really happening, so... Maybe I could vlog for a bit. Tell you about my interesting life. 
Just kidding. Oh, look, the LMG is done. <laughs> I don't need to do that now. <laughs> okay, you're going to go and... What are you doing? Okay, after you're done with that, you can... You can do that. Did I mention that I'm cooking fine meals? Did I mention that? You go into here and you cook fine meals. They give a mood bonus to your colonists, so you want to keep that. Okay, you should have an LMG now. Awesome. Awesome sauce, dude. This longsword is still going. Uh, do this first. Make the flak vest first. Don't be shredding mechanoids yet. That comes later. Look at all these dead buffalo. They all died from the toxic fallout. That happened between recordings. I've never had a game where toxic fallout happens twice. That was pretty crazy. We've got frag grenades. We can sell those. I have not had a trader in a long time. I think that when you get to this point in the game, traders just don't come anymore, and I don't know why. It's like a difficulty thing, but it doesn't really make sense because now they should have more incentive. Oh, we have tattered apparel. What do you have that's tattered? Pants. And what do you have that's tattered? Pants. Okay, let's make some more pants. <laughs> Uh, make pants. <laughs> make it out of not that. It's 55% grown. Waiting for our weed and stuff to grow. Uh, this is... Sheep wool, that's fine. Buffalo wool, we have a lot of that. Not hyperweave, not devil strand. Anything else, I don't care. Make make two. Because we have two people that have no pants. Or tattered pants. Which means probably a lot of people are going to have tattered apparel soon. <laughs> Which sucks. Tattered apparel is annoying to deal with. But it's more annoying if you didn't set up your... Uh, outfits and you're manually doing it, don't ever do that. Never, never ever manually be putting clothes on your colonists. That's disgusting. Don't ever do that. That's terrible. If you do that, I feel bad for you. I have nothing but pity for you. So just don't. So yeah, once, once clothing gets below 50%, it becomes tattered. And then they suffer from mood penalties and mood penalty from it. So just fix it right away. Stay on top of it and you won't have a problem. If you wait, then you might have a problem. One thing though is shield belts will actually deteriorate over time the same way. And if those go below 50%, I don't, <laughs> I don't repair them because I'm cheap. So just that's the one thing I ignore. No, dude. Oh, no. Oh, frickin' crap. We got blight on our... We got blight on our smoke leaf. So now it's doomed. So now we have to go and cut it all. But it shouldn't spread all the way over there. That sucks. I hate that. That's ridiculous. No more weed. Our weed is dead, guys. No more weed. Fire foam. None of this I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna use any of this, but whatever. <laughs> Go cut... Okay, I need you guys to actually prioritize cutting this. Please. Okay. Uh, not that it'll matter, because it won't transfer. Okay. I actually want to not allow sowing right now because it's going to spread to all the all these crops. So, no sowing. Just 
Just cut the... Now you wasted all that time planting those plants. Actually, could could you harvest? Can you harvest what you have? Oh man, 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 man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna actually harvest this. I need I need you guys like Okay, where are all my plant people? Plant people, plant people. Okay, I need you to freaking cut all this now. We need our weed. While we still have it. Go, go, go. Do it. Do it, Arvid. Harvest. You're not even harvesting. Oh. You're just cutting. Okay, I guess we can actually harvest any of it. I thought we could salvage it, but salvage some of it, but Okay, can I just do this quick so we can start sewing quicker? Cut this one too, whatever. Okay, now I can allow sewing again. And blight. If these get blighted, I'll be mad. Unfinished flak vest. So now someone should. Yes, he actually equipped it because I have him set to soldier or to uh, whatever shooter. So I want all my shooters to have flak vests on. So provides. What do, what do they provide? I know I know you want to. I think it's just mainly. You know you don't want to give them shield belts, so you're gonna give them this flak vests. Quest available, ooh. Persona core. Based in the nearby camp, have been raiding our caravans. The camp is controlled by the Sword of Owls. It's asking us to destroy the camp, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. Carrie says that there's a bandit camp at the site guarded by six enemies. Okay. So, I actually really want to do this. It's an extreme challenge rating. But, now that we have people with, like, good equipment. Oh, man. And we need a Persona Core. As is a peak human equivalent machine persona installed in a proper support structure however it can become a mind of great power okay we need a we need a persona core and oh man okay i'm ex i've accepted it so we have 20 days to do this And, okay. So let's see where the bandit camp is first. That's all the way over there, dang. So this is the quickest route. It takes 1.4 days, that's not too bad. But we're gonna need 1.4 days worth of food. We don't wanna take everybody with us because taking everybody means that whoever's left behind, you know, like raiders can come and just destroy everything. But 
we also yeah so but who are we going to take i'd say we leave you you we'll leave these two to guard the camp we'll take the rest and we'll leave archer too yeah we'll leave these three to guard the camp rad weasel and archer will guard the camp but the rest of these guys are gonna go caravanning so we need to prioritize actually creating what do you need for this preferred combination of meat and plant food it doesn't taste amazing but it lasts a long time without refrigeration 16 pemmican what about but we we actually kind of want we want package survival meals because they're okay we want to create package survival meals We want to do that forever, and we want to actually prioritize that on all three of these. Because we need to, this is our, going to be our first actual, you know, going out and... seeing the world, so... We're, we need these because our food's going to spoil otherwise. Well, we have 382 meals. Uh, I'm wondering if we if that'll be in, like if we'll have enough. Okay, let's just see what what it'll take to actually arm the caravan. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. We're gonna go from here, and we're gonna go to here. Okay. And I have to remember how to form a caravan. Oh yeah, you click here. Okay. So that no, we have to exit the planning mode. Click here, we say form caravan. We want to take Arvid. We want to take you. We want to take Rad. Or no, we don't want to take Rad. We want to take Komodo. We want to take Gray. We want to take Shay. These are the ones we want to take. Let's leave the animals. But we can take Muffalo with us. And it'll actually increase our movement speed. So we're going to actually take some Muffalo with us. She'll slow us down because she's pregnant. And that's a calf, so... Okay, we'll take three, four, five muffalo, and now we need to take items. So we need food, but here's the problem. So this will last us 2.1 days. We have forge per day is 38.9. This will last us a bit, but it'll start to rot. So we can have about 2.9 days of food. So about three days of food. It takes us 1.4. We can do it. Okay, I'm going to take that much food with us. So I, th this is what we're going to do. Just take this dead body with us. Yeah. No. What we're going to do is we're going to take Arvid. We're going to take you. We're going to take... Um, Gray. Komodo. And we'll take you. We'll take Muffalo. With us as well. And it'll take 23 we'll travel by 23.1 tiles per day. Okay. And we'll take all of our package survival meals. And we'll take seven 
simple meals. We should also take medicine. You know what, we should take all of our medicine, medicine. We'll take four. Because I don't want to affect our travel time too much. Okay, that's what we're going to take. Okay, choose a route. So we're going to go from here to there. Accept. Yes. So now we're going to leave. All of our guys are going to actually pack up and go. So they're getting the caravan ready. This is why we have all these muffalo. <laughs> Um, they're useful for caravanning, which we have not yet done. So this is pretty cool. So I'm finally getting to show off what, what it, what caravanning looks like. So we're taking one, two, three, four, five, five people. And we're going to go take these five people and destroy that base. So they're going to grab all the stuff that we're taking. They should take their gear, like what's on them, like automatically. Yeah. We're heading out this way. So now the caravan has left. And we can actually follow their progress here. So they're taking a rest right now. You can, you can, I think you can get sleeping bags and stuff for them. So they're a little bit more comfy, but their needs are going to go down for comfort and stuff because it's not fun being out on the road. So meteorite uranium ore. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I will take that. Thank you. That's pretty sick. I should also save. You know, I just auto-saved, but I'm, I'm going to save. Because it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> I just got these guys out there. It always, like, parano makes me paranoid when they, like, go out to go out into the world. I only have these three guys left to defend. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So what's great about Muffalo, too, is they don't require any food because they're grazers. So they'll just find, you know, stuff on the way. We also forage some berries, which is good. So we do get some food from that. So it says animals can graze now. Yes. And it says forever because I think they can graze. So if we were going through, like, you know, desert and stuff, maybe they wouldn't be able to graze and then we'd have to feed them. But So we have two days worth of food right now. Maybe we'll be able to find food out there because we're going to run out. We might run out. I thought we're traveling 24.7 tiles per day. Go complete, make flak fest. Look at that. I thought we were going to get there in like, like pretty quick, like a lot quicker than we are. <laughs> it's kind of worrying.
We're just like traveling a lot up the river there. <laughs> Probably on the shoreline, I guess. Okay. Generating map for new encounter. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with here. <sighs> we got this guy with frag grenades. Got a guy with the club. And then some other guy. Sally. Doesn't seem too bad. All right, so we're gonna we're actually the offensive raiders right now. So we need to go out there and toughen these guys up. So, um, where where shall we start? I guess here maybe. Wondering if we could like get here. Okay, let's just let's just go up here and see what happens. <laughs> I'll just save here for a quick second. Okay. Oh, Al here wants to tussle. Oh, I didn't even see that. We got a, we got a turret. How many turrets do we have? We have that one. So we definitely don't want to be fighting on that side. Okay, we want to go over here. Okay, here. Komodo. I want you to engage. I want you to engage. I want you to, to go after him. Okay, they're attacking. Okay, I'm I'm really focused here. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, I want you guys to still engage him, actually. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, you just got hit because you know, oh, just a bruise. Okay. Um, so he's dead. Well, he's downed at least. Okay. Gay pyromaniac. I want you guys to go melee attack this door here. Oh, okay. Oh, what? What just happened? Okay. I want to go back to these guys. Okay. You guys, I don't want you guys to engage him, actually. Oh, engage him, though. Engage him. Okay. Now, you guys, I want you to engage him. He's got a mace. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. They're getting feisty here. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't good. Okay. I didn't realize. Okay. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Arvid, get out of there, Arvid. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. Arvid, you're still alive, okay. How about you, you're still alive. You're just downed, okay. You're not even like. You could die. How hurt are you? 
Nothing that can't be repaired. Okay. This thing will still attack us. So I want you guys to actually stop. This is not worth it. So stop and bust open that door. Okay, I'm claiming this. I'm claiming this. We're going to claim all this. Okay, how are you? No immediate danger. Okay, you, I need you to rescue him. And I need you to rescue him. Komodo, just rest for a minute. We did bring medicine, which is good. They also have these meals, which is nice. I'm just going to let this guy sit here for a minute. Dot bleed. Okay. I need you to... Prioritize tending to... Them. Okay, we need to rest. Okay. We actually didn't do bad. We didn't do that bad. Okay, his uh, his shield belt is back. Um, <laughs> I, I, I got ambushed there, which wasn't good, but we're going to be okay. They're okay. All of our <laughs> animals just just hanging out over there. Okay, so these guys should be okay, unless they get an infection, then we might be a little screwed. Okay, Shay, I actually want you to come out here, fire at him. Uh, we need to take that back. And did Arvid, Arvid drop that. Can I make a zone here? Okay, I'm going to make a little zone. And I'm just going to prioritize, I'm going to prioritize you to haul this. So it doesn't go bad. Oh gosh. Yeah, I forgot about that thing. Careful. Okay, I, I would rather... I wish I could set set a zone for my colonists. Just be like, yeah, don't, don't go over there. Okay, I just need these guys to get better. Um, you know what we can do, actually? I just had a great idea. Once you guys are awake. Uh, what was your weapon? Do you still have it on you? No, you don't. Didn't you have a club? Here. Then after you're done that, go equip that.
<laughs> uh, I want you to here. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go over here and destroy this. Nice. Where's this? Where did it arrive? Two. Where did my payment go? not in my storage yeah yeah usually like when you get your payment back it'll come back and you just gotta like find it <laughs> but i don't want it just laying around because it could go bad and we need an ai persona core if we're gonna get off this oh it's right here i think oh it's okay i need you to haul that. Okay. Now, Shay, get up. Oh, take, take that. Okay, good. That's, that's done actually. It's done. Um, I need these guys to heal up. Point nine days until leaving. Yeah, I bet. Where? Everywhere? Or not here? Yeah, these guys are idle. I just want to rest up before these guys have to leave. These guys it's getting it's getting eaten. And then we're gonna go. Here, go consume corn. Okay. Now I need to form a care. I'm gonna form a caravan now. Even though that these guys are pretty bruised up, they're not developing any infections or anything. It looks like, which is good, and it looks like we're gonna be okay. So <laughs> whoever stumbles across this is just gonna see like this is all raided, and this guy was just eaten. <laughs> so that's pretty weird. But uh, anyway. Okay, I'm going to form a caravan, and we're going to take all this corn, and this component, oh man, we might start starving actually. I don't need the muffalo wool. I don't care about that. 
No, it's just all steel. <laughs> no. I'll just take the component. Take this mini turret. Let's take the mini turret back too. Okay, choose route. 1.8 days. Oh, we don't have enough food, man. Oh, just go, just go. One point five days of food. This is not good. We can set them to rest. Forge for two for food two times faster. Like you can rest and you'll get some food, but does it say how long it's going to take time 1.4 days okay so we should be fine we should just barely make it before we're starting to starve so yeah you can make bed rolls which helps okay estimated time 1.3 okay we should make it back no way Frickin' machine hive. Oh, man. Okay. A machine hive. That's frickin' terrifying. Okay, I need everything to go to emergency here. And I need these guys to uh, come here. This is terrifying. I can't believe we have a machine hive that has come. And, uh, you know, we have like nothing to defend ourselves. I'm going to have to be real, like. And they just have scythers? See how much damage these things take? Okay, I need these guys to... We need to sacrifice our piggies. Okay. We had to sacrifice our pigs because that was scary, man. Spine is shattered. 0% for moving. <laughs> the spine was shattered. So what does that mean? <laughs> that means we're going to have to kill... We're going to have to slaughter that, that piggy. Sorry. You uh, you served us well. You defended the colony. But uh, it's time. Why bother rescue it? We're going to have to freaking kill it. That really sucks. Yeah, put it out of its misery. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> what a depressing stream. Or recording. <laughs> oh man, just checking on my recording right now. Oh my gosh, two hours and five minutes we've been recording for. That's a nutty.
<sighs> I, you know, it's so funny. I like. I was even thinking, like, oh man, like we're so lucky. We haven't we haven't gotten a raid or anything since we've been gone. And then right after I thought that, guess what happens? I spoke thought too soon, I guess. Why do we have 0 0.2 days of food all of a sudden? Like, what? It was at 0 0.7 and it just went down to 0 0.2. Like, okay. A muffalo is pregnant. <laughs> and it was in the care while they were caravanning. Decided to have sex. A brave from... Oh, okay. He's just passing by. Okay. There's nothing to sell. Okay, now we're, well, we're... I guess we're... Now we have 0 0.6 days. I don't understand how that happened. The Sword of Owls right there. Um... Even if, I think it's like, even if you destroy all, if you go off and destroy all the, like, faction things, that you'll still get raids from, from it. Or maybe, maybe, maybe if you destroy all of them, then you stop getting raids from that specific tribe. So if we went out and destroyed all of Squid's Bush, or the faction, or the Sword of, the Sword Owls, like, we would probably be okay, but... Then we wouldn't get any more raids from them. Nation of Dexocola. Ooh. Outlaw Lagoon. Alright, we're almost home. And we're home. Oh, man. Go. Go have a rest. <laughs> Go have a rest, guys. You deserve it. <laughs> Man. Did you not make the... You couldn't make the pants while we were gone there? Archer? It was probably too much work to do. <laughs> Other things to do. I don't think I was actually using any medicine when we were healing, and I think that's because... It was all still on the... Another muffalo got pregnant? Dang, out with the old and in with the new, I guess. So now we're they're going to offload the caravan. But I think all my medicine was still on the caravan. It's kind of dumb. I, I wish it would just register that, hey, it's on the caravan so I can use it. But Mad alpaca, okay. I'm pretty sure we can handle that. No rest. Oh, you guys made this while we were gone. That's nice. Okay, after we take care of this alpaca, I think I'm going to end the stream. Or the recording. <laughs> Keep calling it that. Oh, he was taken care of by himself. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, today was really an, an uh, eventful, so we actually got to go out and get a win ourselves a Persona Core. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, so a hyper advanced computer core uh, that houses a peak human equivalent machine persona. It is uh, in its isolated state. The core is dormant, installed in a proper support structure. However, it can become a mind of great power. So you you need this in order to uh, actually launch the ship. And if we look. In my messages, I have a pinned message from like a long time ago, and it's Persona Core offer. Uh, contacts you with an offer information, location of Persona Core if you need to order to build a spaceship. They inform you that this item is quite rare, and usually its owners have it under heavy guard. So I, I could have called them, but this happened first. 
So I ended up just doing that. But you need this in order to launch the ship. And you can't produce this. You have to find this through a quest. So that's why I took that quest. And I was like, I need I need to took that, take that quest. Um, which was this. Saving Gerard. I don't care about saving Gerard. But yeah. So you can loot everything from the camp. All we took was like a component. But also, you know, the Persona core. This was what was really valuable. So... That's what they gave us as a as a gift for uh, or as payment for what we did. I also mined some of this out. So uh, yeah, we have shred mechanoid. Do that. I'll make pants. Uh, so that was that's kind of the equipment. Uh, getting your people properly geared. We have you know now we have some good gear on these guys. Flak vests. At least that's something. Some armor. We've got them with uh, guns and stuff. So. Yeah, that's kind of the basics of equipment. There's there's a lot more to it if you really want to look into it. Uh, next time we're going to go over some... Uh, we're going to actually build some... Uh, what, what's it called? We're actually going to build some like turrets and stuff. We'll build some mini turrets. I like to... I'll probably put one here. Maybe one here. Uh, here and here. And then I'll, over here, I'll put some turrets here, um, here, here, and here. So, so like, we're going to need <laughs> eight turrets, which each one costs, and we're going to just use mini turrets. Each one's cost three components, so we're going to need more components. I'm going to be probably doing some strip mining in between episodes. Uh, so this is all going to be mined out. We're going to see that. And if any traders come by, I'll buy components off of them. Uh, hopefully by then, you know, maybe my soycoid plants will be will be harvested, harvestable. And we can start making some cocaine. And uh, maybe maybe produce some, some statues and stuff. So, yeah, uh, that, that'll be something that we go over. I think what we also need to go over, though, is... Uh, uh, I don't know. We'll go over that for sure. Uh, and I might actually end up... Well, I, I might go over, like... Uh, what's it called? I, I might also set up some mortars. So... Uh, what we could, what I'll what I'll probably do also is uh, show you guys how to how to what what you can do with mortars that involves you know we have some shells incendiary shells and stuff but what that involves is you actually make um, high explosive shells or incendiary shells um, and that's going to require us to produce chem fuel which is a whole another thing. Uh, so I'm probably going to expand this in the next episode to make room for, for our chem fuel, chem fuel generator. Either that or I'll destroy one of these tailoring benches because we don't really need two of them. And uh, we'll start making chem fuel to make high explosive shells, uh, which is the one that I'm, I'm, I like to use high explosive shells, I think, uh, which we already have 12 of them. And so what you do is this is where we're really going to be kicking butt with our with our defensive structures is you go into security and you click on mortars and we're going to actually put mortars down here uh, in each one of these spots. And then we're going to really be rocking. Uh, I'm probably not going to build all the mortars right away. I'll build like... I'll probably build three to start because you don't want to overproduce them because they're very expensive. So I'll probably build three to start, but they work very different because, and I'm kind of like already going into it, because as you'll see, oh, I can't even, sh I can't show it. Well, um, what, what you'll see is like, you know, if you if you see this, you'll be able to see the range. Like that's the range for the light machine gun, right? Uh, you'll you'll see the range for the mortar, but it's actually different. So 
when when you see the range for the mortar, it can actually hit all over except for within that range. So it could hit like over here, but it might not be able to hit over here because, you know, that's how mortars work. So it says a man mortar that launches all kinds of she shells while it can inflict devastating damage to the mortars. Uh, and inherent inaccuracy makes it more useful for attacking large fortifications and groups of enemies in the field. So yes, they are very inaccurate, but um, they're when you have a lot of them, they can be quite quite useful. So uh, six, twelve, eighteen. I'll need three of those. Uh, oh, twenty-four, of course. Eight times three is twenty-four. Oh my gosh, we're gonna need forty, like forty-two components. We're gonna need a lot of components. So. I guess I'll be back when we have like 42 components. Maybe I'll make a fabrication bench or something in order to produce more of them or whatever. But yeah, so however long that takes me, uh, that's when I will, uh, that's when I'll be back. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to respond uh, within a decent amount of time. Um, and yeah, I hope you're enjoying this guide. If you have been, you know, feel free to leave a like or not. It's up to you. Uh, but yeah, I would really appreciate it if you did. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys uh, next time. Bye.